I'm uh, Eval Høj Christensen. I come from Aarhus, Denmark. Yeah, the background for the Nobel trial is that we had the Syntax trial. It started three vessel disease and left main disease and compared CAPITS with PCI. And they clearly showed that PCI was inferior compared to CAPITS for three vessel disease. But in left main disease, there was an indication that they were equal. We did not have the um, trial at that point that clearly showed that they were equal. So we designed the, the Nobel trial to further confirm these results with a more modern stance. So the key finding is that the Kaplan-Meier estimate of the 10-year mortality reached 25% in cabbage and 23% in PCI. So no statistically signif significant difference. So equal results for mortality after 10 years. We decided to follow the patient for 10 years. After five years, we did a patient-level meta-analysis with the Excel trial, with a Syntax trial, and with pre-combat. And there were no difference in mortality, but from one to five years, there was a separation of the curve towards a benefit of cabbage compared to PCI. So we were concerned if those curves would continue to separate in favor of cabbage. We did not see that. We did not see a difference in mortality after 10 years. So this in, uh, idea that the Lima save life, we could not show in our trial until 10 years. So the key take home message is when we have a patient with a left main disease, fulfilling the inclusion criteria in Noble, that means you do not have complex lesions outside the left main. If you sit at a heart conference, we have indication now that stroke is slightly increased after cabbage and spontaneous myocardial infarction is increased after PCI and the need for repeat revask is increased after PCI. So we have to involve the patient and tell them open about that, but we don't see any safety concerns. We don't see this excess in spontaneous myocardial infarction and repeat revask translate into increased mortality. I think it's interesting to see if there was interaction with age, and there was no interaction with age. Below or higher than 67 years, there were no difference. Uh, diabetes plus minus syntax score, low, intermediate, and high, no significant interaction. We saw that in patients with acute coronary syndrome, there was a mortality benefit with PCI compared to cabbage. But when you study a lot of subgroups, something can turn out by play of chance. So I think we can think of that as an hypothesis, that maybe in acute coronary syndrome there's a benefit of PCI. We will look further into that. What about the timing of REVASC? Was that quicker in ACS compared to CABITS where there can be a waiting list? So we will try to study that. And about the mechanism of the the lack of a difference in mortality from 5 to 10 years and the curves coming back in the Nobel. In Nobel trial, they did not separate until 5 years. It was in the meta-analysis. So there was not a further separation. So there could maybe be an influence of uh, Venus graft's patency. Are they starting to shut down in that period? We are not we were not able to collect spontaneous myocardial infarction, but we will try to do that in countries where we can do that register base to see if we can figure out if there's some spontaneous myocardial infarction coming in due to late venous graft failure. That's uh, an interesting hypothesis.